Welcome back to Mr Scott Maths. In this video we're going to be looking at writing numbers in standard form. So if there are any other topics you'd like me to cover please leave a comment down below and I'll try and get to that video as soon as I can. Also make sure to like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. So we can write both big and small numbers in standard form and the reason we do this is because big numbers like this one are kind of difficult to work with so we write them in a more concise form and the form that we write them in will be a number between 1 and 10 multiplied by 10 to the power of something. So we've got to first of all find a number between 1 and 10 out of this big number here. Well to do that we simply put our decimal point after our first significant figure of this number. So in this case it would go after this 7. So we get 7.0000000. But we could of course just write this as 7. And then it's going to be multiplied by 10 to the power of something. Well, to get this power, we need to see how many spaces our decimal point has moved from where it's begun, right at the end, to where it's ended up just after this 7. So we can count how many spaces it's moved. So it's gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 spaces. So our power is 8, and our answer, our number in standard form for this large number here, would be 7 times 10 to the power of 8. Let's try it with a different example again. We've got another big number, and again we want to get this number between 1 and 10. Well, we need to do the same thing. We just put our decimal point after our first significant figure. That's going to be after the 6. So we get 6.31. And we'd still have all these zeros here, but of course after the decimal point they're not going to do anything. So we just leave them out. We leave it as 6.31. And of course it's going to be 6.31 multiplied by 10 to the power of something. We've got to get that something by looking at how many spaces our decimal point has moved from its original point at the end to where it is now just after the 6. So let's move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 spaces. So our power is 7. And our answer would be 6.31 times 10 to the power of 7. As well as writing our really big numbers in standard form, we can also do the same for some really small decimal numbers. So, for example, if we had 0 0.0002, well, we still need to get that number between 1 and 10, and we still do it in the same way. We're going to put our decimal point after our first significant figure, so it would go after the 2. So our number between 1 and 10 would just be 2. And again, it's going to be multiplied by 10 to the power of something. Now, to get our power, well, our decimal point started here. It's now moved over here. Let's see how many spaces it's moved. It's moved 1, 2 three, four spaces. But because we're now moving from the left to the right, rather than our power being positive four, it's now going to be negative four. So we're not going to get a really big number out of this, we're going to get a really small number. Now let's try it with another example. So this time we've got 0 0.0000305. Well again we want to put our decimal point after our first significant figure, so we ignore all these zeros and put it after this three. So our number between one and ten will be 3.05. And it's going to be multiplied by 10 to the power of something. Well, our decimal point started here. It's now just here after this 3. So let's see how many spaces it's moved. It's gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces. So our power is going to be, of course, negative 5 rather than positive 5. And our answer would be 3.05 times 10 to the power of negative 5. Now here's going to be a couple of examples for you to have a go at. So if you just want to pause the video for a moment and first we'll have a go at this one here. So we've got another really big number that you want to write in standard form. So to do this one, of course, we first need to find our number between 1 and 10. And to get that number, we need to put our decimal point after our first significant figure. In this case, it's going to be after the 4. So our number is going to be 4.58. And it will be times 10 to the power of something. So our decimal point started off here, right at the end. It's now moved up here, just after the 4. Let's see how many spaces it's moved. Well, it's gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 spaces. And because this is a big number, we need a positive power. So it's going to be times 10 to the power of 9. We get 4.58 times 10 to the power of 9. Now here's one more example for you to have a go at. So this time we've got a really small number, we've got a really small decimal number. You write this one in standard form. If you just want to pause the video for a moment, and I'll go through it in a second. 
So for this one, again, we want to move our decimal point to just after our first significant figure. So it'll be just after this 2. And our number between 1 and 10 will be 2.79, multiplied by 10 to the power of something. Well, our decimal point has started off here. It's ended up just after this 2. So let's see how many spaces it's moved. It's gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 spaces. But of course, it's a really small number this time. So it's not going to be positive 5 our power is going to be negative 5. So our answer will be 2.79 times 10 to the power of minus 5. Make sure to like and subscribe for more maths videos.